Hi, I'm going to try to make this a pretty quick video here. I want to talk to you today. What do you do if your microwave starts wearing through on the bottom here? Now, most people buy what's known as cavity paint. Now, I do have some. I have both the spray on and the brush on. It, that brush is in. Little brush in it. And this sprays on. Now, I have done this microwave several times. I've used both these products. And I have followed the instructions. I have literally put several coats in this microwave. And unfortunately, both of these wear out rather quickly. And when I mean quickly, I mean quickly. This one takes 12 hours to dry, and that's per coat. So if you just put a light coat on there, it's not going to stay very long. Um, you actually have to have a pretty heavy coat to if, if it's any worse than this now what I did was I decided this is going to get very very expensive and it does not hold up very long at all um, this held up for probably a week and a half if that I mean seriously th this stuff is complete junk this held up for probably two and a half weeks. Alright, so I'm thinking to myself, if I have to do our microwave every two and a half weeks and literally, you know, be without the microwave for four or five days, because every time you put a coat on here, it takes 12 hours to dry. So you're more or less spending all your time spray painting the inside of your microwave and what I have here is I have one of these paint brushes that's a sponge now you will need two I'm gonna show you a quicker easier better way that actually does last longer um, the reason I have I have two of these I've already used this one and I have the end cut off and I have some electrical tape wrapped around it you can see I had this in here the last time I sprayed where the turntable piece goes um, this piece right here because I don't want any paint getting down in there now I have figured something out by trying different paints I figured out which one holds up the best and it's not actually either one of these it is that Now this stuff dries within 10 to 20 minutes to the touch. Now I do advise you do this outside. But I'm going to show you how I got a really thick heavy coat. Now I did this microwave probably a month ago. And it is just starting to wear through. And I want to show you one of the reasons why my microwave wears through like it does. This wheel here is literally... Uh, missing a piece so the wheel wobbles a whole lot and that's one of the reasons that this wears through on my microwave yours could be different now I'm going to show you you will need either a piece of tape over this hole or something that will fit in the hole I had two of these and I used the foam on the other one to do what I'm fixing to do with this one of course, you have your can shaken. Make sure you shake it really well. Now, this is going to smell really bad, and it will smell even after dried. How I got the smell out was after it dried, I let it dry for basically 24 hours. I wanted to make sure it was dry all the way through. And then I put some cups of water in it and ran the microwave several times and that pulled the sm smell and odor out. You pr could probably use something like vinegar or something like that. But like I say, if you're going to do this, don't do it in the house. 
you know, like I'm doing. And I am going to put it on very, very thick. And you can see that how it's eating into the paint itself. I mean, it actually went clear down to the bare metal all the way around. And you can see I'm putting on very, very thick. I am basically loading this completely with paint. And turn it upside down and spray it out. Alright, once you get that, make sure to wipe any excess off. Now that's where this comes in. You want to go around and more or less level this paint out. You don't want it to be super thick anywhere. You want it leveled out. More like smooth. Make sure you get every nick and cranny of it. Now that is really thick because I put it on really thick. And you can see it is filling everything in. And if for some reason it doesn't fill it in like you want it, you just fill in some more. And see how thick that is? And just smooth it out. And there you go, you can see it is filling everything in. Now what I want to do is make sure every crack is filled in. Now when you go around this, you just want to make sure there are no um, high places. So you're basically just smoothing this out. And like I say, you can put as many layers as you want on here. Make sure there's nothing on your door. So if there is some on your door, make sure it's spread out so it dries. And make sure you fill in everything really good. You want that paint to really be built up. Okay, there you go. You can see it is filled in. It looks really nice, really good. Um, there are some places that are still sticking up, but that's where the roller 
hits. Now this stuff is already literally tacking up. That's how fast this dries. And you can see the, the paint here. I just spread that around. And you can go over this literally several times. And an hour, hour and a half, however long it takes to get to where it is filled up and sealed. Just make sure it is smoothed out. Once this dries, if you want, you can take some sandpaper to it and sand it down. Now, like I said, this I do let this dry for at least 24 hours before I even turn the microwave on. But I have figured out this stuff does not work. It is kind of like a rubber thing. And it's not really, to me, paint. It, it, it dries like a rubber. Same as this. And this is really expensive. I mean, this stuff's like $9, $10 or more a can. And this, I believe it's like 4 bucks a can. Now, that is already tacking up. Now, like I said, you can see some of the old paint rising up. And once this dries, I will take some sandpaper to it, sand it smooth, and then I will hit it again. And that will fill in everything. It'll dry and be able to be used without spending a whole lot of money. These, you can buy at, I believe, a dollar store. Um, you could use regular brushes if you want, paint brushes. But you can see right here, I will have to hit that again. Right here, it's good. But once I fill all this in, sand it down, I'll hit it again. And I guarantee this is already starting to dry. And this microwave will be as good as new and ready to go. Other than, well, of course, this broken wheel piece here. Alright, this is a cheap, easy way right here to fix the inside of your microwave. Like I said, I will sand this down, get any high places off, and then I will hit it again. This can also holds much more That's 12 ounces. And let's see, this is 6 ounces. So, you can see the size difference. This can is cheaper. You can do more coats with it. And to be honest, this actually lasts longer once it's dried than this stuff does. Alright, um, this will probably be my last video on anything as far as... Um, if I buy something or, or, or fix something. If you watch any of my other videos and have any questions, I will answer those questions. But my girlfriend's in the hospital again. Um, she was septic. And unfortunately they found kidney stones. So she is in the hospital once again. And that is a lot of money for the bills. We're still paying for the last hospital bill. And now we're going to have another one. So... Uh, we are not going to have the money for me to be buying anything, which means I won't be able to review anything. But if you have any questions about something I've already shown, please feel free to ask. I will try my best to answer any questions. Anyway, if you have a microwave that's, you know, coming through, this is the best paint right here. And the cheapest way to fill that in. And like I said, once this dries, I will sand it. And you can see that's still tacky. But once it dries, I'll sand it down. And I'll hit it with another thick coat. Then I will put everything back in. And let it run with some glasses or cups of water in it. 
and that way it will get the smell out. Alright, that's it. I'm fishing go. Everyone have a good day. Bye.